Hi, welcome for our uh, online training sessions. In our previous sessions, we have completed the procurement. Now we are going to start account payables today. We'll start with the first document called invoices. We are going to start with the document called invoices. So account payables module is used mainly to maintain the payables uh, information that we are going to use. So the payables, it comes at BU level. Make sure that the business unit, whatever we are using, that payables is enabled. So whenever we go to financials, payables, these are the setups will be performed, like common options for payables and procurement, invoice options for the business unit and payment options. Whatever we do in account payables model, every time it will ask us for which business unit you are going to perform the action. So as, I, as we have seen the procurement model, how we can go for hire an employee as well as uh, create and uh, purchase order requisitions and all. Now we are going for the same. Let me go for create an employee and add the account payables roles to the employee and we'll talk about the invoices here. I think we have existing employee. Let me cross check. Let's cut it off. This exist. No. Okay. okay. So no issue. Well, it takes a couple of minutes, not more than that. for save and close this is the user account here and we made it as an employee let's go for create uh, user account has been already created now we are going to manage the user account information here Let's go to Navigator here. Tools menu, Security Console. Go to Users tab here. Going to reset the account here. Reset the password and let's go for add account payables roles here. Let's go for accounts payable manager here. We are going to add accounts payable manager. Let's add account tables manager and uh, supervisor. Then we have accounts payable specialist. We're going to have, these are the three roles which are required to work with our account payables model, to work with the accounts payable model. And of course, we'll go for add employee role. We go for add the employee role. Right. Click add role membership. Click that. Now, once we add the roles, then we have to go for data access. We'll go for data access here. Click this done button. I'll go to our FSM environment. Let's go to financials. Let's 
go for the task here, data access. Manage data access for users. And what is the username here? This is our username. And then what is the role name? Accounts payable manager. We are going to have a business unit. US one business unit, we are going to have it. Accounts payable specialist and then business unit, this one. Let me go for that. After providing the data access, let's go for uh, submit initial users run this LDAP process here. We are able to log into the applications. Let's go to Navigator, Payables. This is Invoices. Okay. So when we are working with Account Payables model, the first document is the Invoices document. So we are going to create an invoice. We'll be developing and customizing a lot of invoice uh, reports. And also we'll be working with uh, data loading by using the spreadsheets, by using spreadsheet or by using a BDA. We'll look. Uh, into that area when we are working with a BDA process. Okay, so let's go for create invoices here. Go for create invoice. Selecting US one business unit here. Supplier name is Advanced Corporation. That's the name of the supplier. So when we are entering the information in the invoice page, we will enter at uh, three levels, headers, lines, and distributions. Now we are entering the information at header level. So the invoice number, I'm entering QVA, QVA, double one, double two. Amount is uh, triple nine dollars. There are different types of invoices, standard invoice, prepayment invoice, credit memo, debit memo, withholding tax, retainage release, like this. Standard invoice is a regular purchase invoice. Whenever we purchase uh, some goods or service from the supplier, that time we'll raise this standard invoice. Prepayment is nothing but uh, when we are going to give some advance to supplier. For example, we ordered some goods for $10,000. Now supplier is asking 30% advance. So we'll pay the $3,000 and then you will go for uh, provide uh, the information here. Right. So that's what we are going to call it as a prepayment invoice. That's an advance payment to the supplier. Debit memo and credit memo, both are negative invoice amount. Generally, invoice means uh, amount will be positive. But in this case, we will find uh, the amount is negative because whenever the invoice is already created, standard invoice, and you wanted to go for deduct some amount from the standard invoice, and you want to decrease the supplier liability, then we will be using credit memo as well as the debit memo. These two documents with the negative amount and these two documents will be adjusted against the standard invoice. And withholding tax is uh, nothing but in our tax calculation on behalf of uh, supplier. When we are going to configure, we will work with the withholding tax. And the retain is release also. When there is any retain is release that we are going to specify that we will be uh, mentioning over here it is. I'm creating standard invoice now. Enter the information line level, header level, number, business unit, supplier, supplier site, legal entity, these are all details. And uh, line level, I'm mentioning the amount is triple nine. How about the distributions? Nothing but accounting information. So I'm going to enter only one distribution. Yeah, uh, generally header will be only one. 
at least one line or we can have multiple lines. Every line will have at least one distribution or multiple distributions, right? So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to create, save this particular record here, save this record. And now the invoice is not validated here. Let's go for uh, uh, check the tax. Maybe the tax has been calculated. Uh, due to that, your invoice is on hold. We can verify it from here. Go to taxes and remove that. Go for edit taxes here. go for save this particular record. So this is our uh, invoice number. And how many levels the information is entered? Headers, lines, and distribution. We'll be having one header, at least one line or multiple lines. Every line will have at least one distribution or we are going to have multiple distributions over here. Yes. We are going to have multiple distributions over here. There is only one distribution we have created. So distribution is nothing but accounting information. Let's say we have purchased some goods and because of that, we got some expense for the organization. That amount, whatever the expenditure amount we got, that needs to be distributed to the different accounts. That's what we are going to have distributions here. Okay, let's go for validate this invoice again. Now, system is telling that the invoice has been validated successfully. Whenever we are working for account payables, the invoice must be validated. Approval is not required. It seems the approvals has been disabled. That's the reason uh, That's the reason we are not going to have it here option. Otherwise, it will be coming. Accounting is not done so far. Invoice is just validated, approved automatic, and accounting is not done. How to create accounting transactions? Go to invoice actions. There are two ways, post to ledger and this. This we can go for create accounting transactions over here. Okay. And now we'll see these tables. First three tables uh, we are going to have headers, lines, and distributions. We are going to have three tables. Let's see these three tables. So uh, where exactly we can get it. I'm trying to open this uh, duplicate window. Go to reports and analytics, but this user is not an implementation user. So what I'll do is copy this. Let me open the new private window instead of new duplicate, because in this duplicate window, we cannot log in with the different uh, credentials. Here we can log in. URL is same, but we can have different credentials. So when we want to work with at a time multiple logins, then we will be able to use this here. We are going to use this particular one. So let's log into the applications. Let's go to reports and analytics here. For browse catalog here. Now go for data model. Now we want to check the invoice tables over here.
there are three tables headers table lines table and uh, distribution table let me write this query select start from ap invoices all where invoice number equal to this what is the invoice number I will be able to find the result here in our statements. How much amount? This who has created this invoice? Send capital. This is the user account and how much amount? Triple nine dollars. Payment currency, invoice currency. Who is the supplier? So and so supplier. So and so supplier ID. Source manual invoice entry. What type of invoice this is? Standard invoice. We can find all this data. Okay. I need corresponding lines. So you need to take the invoice ID and go for this. This is your uh, invoice lines, AP invoices, lines on. Where invoice ID equal to table or view does not exist. AP invoice lines, not invoices. AP invoice lines. So we'll find corresponding lines here. So we will see that there is only one line, right? For this particular invoice, I could see that invoice line number. Now we are able to see the tax information also. US sales and the tax details. This is city wise tax, county wise tax, statewide tax, and general line information. If we check our invoice, this is line information and taxes information also stores in the same. You can see that line number two, three, four. U.S. sales and tax, city, county, and state. Of course, we mentioned the amount as zero. That is a different case. But in this table, we can find line as well as the taxes information, right? And uh, we can find the line level amount over here. We can find the amount over here. This is the manual line entry. The remaining all our uh, taxes. E-taxes e we got here. And we can see that the period name and uh, 